Hey guys, this is Ben. I haven't done a video in quite a while. Just life has been going on. It's been really busy um, with work, but uh, I've been on break for the past two weeks on holiday, which has been really, really, really nice. Um, I've just been uh, really busy with everything. Um, but I want to do a top 10 uh, like everybody is doing nowadays on top 10 figures of 2022. Um, my criteria, my criteria for that this year is going to be, um, uh, whether or not I got it this year, that's pretty much it. It, it can be a figure from past years. That's how I'm going to structure my list. I don't know if I went over that in, um, uh, in my top 10 of 2021, but, uh, um, but this year has been really interesting because, uh, um, a lot of times, uh, I will, I will, um, uh, have like a handful of figures that probably weren't from this year, um, in my list, but this time I'm, uh, this time it's only like one figure of mine that hasn't, that, that, that has made the list. So, um, I have a, f uh, quite a few honorable mentions just ones that didn't really make the cut for me this year, but were great figures. Just maybe not really what I was into, or not really my sole focus or something like that. Um, if, if you can't tell by the uh, figures that I have that you see right now, I'm really heavily into like the whole science fiction, fantasy, medieval um, sort of thing going on. So, um, but, uh, um, this year was pretty cool. Uh, I got a lot of Marvel stuff this year. Um, and then I got, uh, I got, um, a lot of military stuff too. Like, uh, um, and, uh, we'll get into that because some of those have made my top 10. So we'll definitely get into that. Um, so let's just move forward with the top 10 and just, uh, see where it takes us. Okay, so interestingly enough, the top 10, the first one on my list is going to be uh, uh, the old uh, Build-A-Figure of uh, Marvel Legends Abomination. The reason why this has made the list is because I have a really good memory uh, getting this figure this year um, when I was in Vegas. Um, I, uh, I made, I, my second trip to Vegas... Um, I made it a point to uh, toy hunt every single time that I go there. I've been there twice this year, and um, it was just really fun to, to go there and just to see all my family and see everybody in a good mood. So that's really the only reason why this is on my list is just the memory of getting it. Um, I do like the figure a lot. I think it's cool. I think it's I think it's honestly like the best uh, version of of um of uh, abomination they've done. Maybe we need a uh, a um, uh, an update on Abomination. Maybe we don't. I'm perfectly fine with this one. I know there's a lot of people that don't seem to really like this version of him. I I don't quite get it because it is it is a really really cool figure, you know. So um, there's like I mean it, it might not be a hundred percent accurate to the uh, Abomination, the real version of Abomination, but I think honestly it's the best one of the, uh, of the, um, uh, that's available. So, um, uh, uh, let's move on to number nine. Okay, number nine is She-Hulk. Uh, I'm surprised that this isn't on anyone's list this year. Um, uh, this one is just amazingly done. Um, it's, uh, um, they did, they did an incredibly great body on her as you can see you know i like i love this kind of body i love like curvy kind of j-lo or um uh or like uh um uh um beyonce or like uh um uh um Nicki minaj or like scarlett johansson type bodies so the fact that they're giving this type of body in a uh, female figure, um, that, uh, that, um, uh, that, in, in a female figure that, like, is, is mainstream, 
you know, sold at like Targets and Best Buys and and um, all that other stuff. The fact that they're giving us that kind of female body in in that mainstream of a line is a uh, pretty pretty awesome. So uh, I'm really impressed with how uh, the six inch world has come to be uh, nowadays because I remember like back in the day, like even back in like 2018, you couldn't get you know your standard six inch figure like this at all so um uh so this is definitely on my number eight uh i know that not a lot of not a lot of lists are coming out right now but um it'll be interesting to see if any other people have this on their list i know a lot of people don't like the uh, show and everything and and i've heard like bad things about it and everything uh but um uh but this is a solid um uh um she-hulk you know and and it's a great body for customizers too if they want to actually put like the classic she-hulk um on this body um like i of course like like any fan any marvel fan i i i would prefer like if they did this good of a job on like a classic she-hulk but i mean the thing is is that i don't think we're gonna get that at least not anytime soon so uh this is kind of your best the best way to go plus i really like the body i think that this body honestly is better than the um than the uh body on um uh on um uh she hulk from diamond select that one where she's like like holding up the uh, cr uh crumpled up car so um let's move on to number eight coming in hot as no surprise it's uh it's um she hulk's uh cousin uh bruce banner himself the incredible hulk a lot of people were shitting on this uh this release and i don't exactly know why because it's a great hulk, hulk figure i never got the 80th anniversary hulk but i think that this one's much much better than that one um, the only thing that they probably could have given you is, like, that torn lab coat. I think that would have just been, like, the icing on the cake for this. But um, I'm very, very, very happy with this Incredible Hulk. I love the accessories that it came with, the uh, the poster. Like, a lot of times when they have, like, posters like that, um, they tend to kind of, they, they tend to really, like, uh, um, sort of cheap out. Um, but like you can tell like with that poster that it's a high quality poster see Marvel can make or, or not Marvel but Hasbro can make incredibly good things um, um, uh, when they want to so that's that's the thing it's just that not all the time are you asking for what they're they're making so you know like going back to the Sheik Hulk which is right next to him that like that's an incredible figure the thing is is no one's asking for that version of her they want the bikini version but like uh um but like uh you know if you just look at it for what it is it's it's she hulk definitely and it's still a great figure um this is the hulk that i've wanted this is like to me the essential hulk so i'm very very happy with it i'm very very happy with the coloration um and uh um it's it's definitely my favorite hulk in my entire collection i have red hulk and i got maestro so and this one easy, hands down is my favorite so um let's move on to number seven okay number seven is excess ray gladiators um this has made my uh my top 10 um my earlier top 10 video in the year and um i love these excess ray gladiators um i love that uh we're getting historical um six inch you know Mattel and uh, Hasbro style figures um, you, like you, you can't ask for more um, the only downside is, is that they are really expensive that's just the premium that you pay when you ask for these types of figures because Mattel and Hasbro they're not going to do these types of figures they're going to do what they know what works uh, though like it's, it, it's weird because like large companies don't want to take risk and they would definitely take a risk on these but it's also interesting too because uh anytime these things go up for pre-order on big bad or anytime they're in stock on big bad they just sell out like that and it's so hard to get them on the secondary market but uh this is a great figure um uh these excess ray gladiators are incredible figures 
and um, just anybody who's into uh, Masters of the Universe Classics, um, uh, if you're into um, uh, Mythic Legions, or if you're into like Lord of the Rings, or if you're into any like kind of medieval setting or, or fantasy type thing, or just um, hell, if you're into like historical medieval stuff or historical classical age stuff, this is definitely something to pick up. Not all the time is the weaponry accurate or the armor accurate, but it is, um, it, it is, uh, um, accurate enough to where you're not dealing with, like, dragons or orcs or giants. You're just dealing with, like, with, like, no-nonsense historical stuff, pretty much. So, that's my, uh, that's my number, um, seven. Was it seven? Sorry, I gotta look over to see where where I'm at. Yep, number seven. Okay, is this Exus Ray Gladiator? Okay, and here's my number uh, six is uh, the Mythic Legions Gladiator. This one I almost kind of like better than the Exus Ray ones. Um, uh, the reason is is because I've never really heard of a fantasy gladiator. Gladiator, you uh, you always hear about like fantasy knights and um, fantasy Vikings and f and even like fantasy pirates, but you never hear about like a fantasy gladiator. I mean, I mean, I think there might even be like fantasy cowboys, um, but like you don't, you never hear about a fantasy gladiator. So um, and uh, this is definitely like a fantasy gladiator too, because like you can tell like with the skull motif on the uh on the shoulder pauldron that's not that's probably not something that they would have had back then just the uh the the armor seems way over overproduced you know for that time period except for the helmet the helmet's maybe like the only thing that doesn't seem fantasy to me but um uh but like the um the rest of the armor and then like the weapons they all seem very fantasy um, uh, I love his, uh, the short sword that they gave him with it. I know they give him that all the time. They always, like, reuse parts. That's really, like, Mythic Legion's thing. But, like, um, it's really cool because, like, uh, when you think of, like, strong guys or, like, strong barbarians and stuff like that using, uh, um, uh, uh, hand-to-hand -hand weaponry, you, they always kind of depict him with, like, a giant axe or, or a giant mace or a giant sword or something like that. They never have it like to where it's uh, a smaller short sword like this, even though the thing could probably do uh, just as much damage, if not maybe even more efficiently than like those bigger battlefield weapons do. Um, uh, let's move on to my number five. Okay, moving on to number five is this uh, um, uh, Masters of the Universe Origins uh, Snake Armor He-Man. I customized mine a bit. So, uh, um, he doesn't come with, uh, the, the harness that's actually 2000X Origins, uh, He-Man, and he also doesn't come with the head, head sculpt. I just kind of felt like to make it a little bit different and swap the, uh, head sculpt. But this one's great, too. Um, uh, my favorite version of He-Man is actually the Snake Armor He-Man, so I was very glad, uh, when, um, when, uh, they, uh, came out with him. So I pretty much picked him up right when I saw him available on Big Bad. Um, he's uh, uh, he's pretty interesting. Uh, he uh, his uh, his his armor piece right here, um, as you can see, can actually come off the figure. Um, so there's like a bunch of customizational ability that you can have with this guy. You can kind of like alternate the armor make it look different make uh snake armor he-man himself look different you know give him different weapons and stuff like that so this one is definitely uh um one of my favorites um i just like the snake armor he-man look it's kind of very like it's very much like gladiator but also just barbarian type of look to it so um that's my number uh five Here's my number four, is the, uh, is Valiverse. Um, not necessarily this figure, I'm talking about the whole entire thing. I only got two figures of them. I got Sergeant Sal Slaughter version two, and then I got the Bone Collector, but I got their, uh, weapons packs as well. 
And I would put their weapons packs in there as well if we were able to like include accessory packs. But that's also why I do it as a whole and not just one figure. But um, Valorverse um, has been really quite a game changer. Um, uh, it's to me, I think that these are like better than uh, G.I. Joe Classified. But I do see the uh, potential of G.I. Joe Classified. Um, but like uh, the cool thing too is is just the weapons pack. I mean, I mean, the fact that you can put these things with any figure, and the fact that like they make it accommodating for any figure to actually hold is uh, something to really marvel at. Um, uh, I've longed for the days that like action figures can basically get like realistic, real world guns like this, and with Valiverse and and also other. Uh, toy companies as well like i got uh another one called called a uh, mark ii toys that also does uh um uh six inch action fit action figure scale uh uh weapons um is just something that is just awesome it's what i've been asking for one of the things i've just been asking for and, and it's a lot of fun to actually pose these guns with different figures pretty much as long as your figure figure has a trigger finger hand then you can you can give them any kind of weapon like i've like i've noticed that like uh the uh the the masterverse skeletor actually has a trigger finger hand and you can actually fit some of the guns in his hand even so the the range is that wide you can easily give them to like NECA figures you can easily give them to gi joe classifieds uh you can easily give them to marvel legends um, any figure that pretty much has a trigger finger hand, um, uh, you can give it to. I even I even have it over here with a bone bone breaker and a um, Scarface, or not Scarface, but a um, jigsaw. You know, so uh, you know the opportunities are just are just uh, limitless with this uh, with with these figures. Let's move on to number three. Okay, and my number three is something I haven't even opened yet. I've just been way too damn busy. But um, again, like with the Valorverse, this is actually the uh, representative of the entire line. I got this figure, but plus I got multiple uh, others. Um, and then I got a, I even got like one of the mechs. So um, this is a, a Warhammer. Camera focus. Okay, Warhammer, uh, Joy Toy Warhammer 40K. Um, this is a game changer. This is just, um, no pun intended. Um, I love the fact that we have it where where um, uh, Warhammer guys and toy guys are like fighting because, because Warhammer stuff is turning into some really awesome toys. Um, I always love the Warhammer aesthetic. Um, I like uh, Warhammer Fantasy as well. Um, and that's something that that's kind of weird. It seems like Warhammer Fantasy always gets like not mentioned and everything. Um, but like Warhammer 40, 40k always gets brought up when talking about Warhammer. Um, uh, so uh, um, these Joy Toy Warhammer figures are just awesome. But I do wish that though that like McFarlane or something or maybe even Joy Toy, even though Joy Toy's thing isn't really this. But um, I would love it if they actually made a um, Warhammer Fantasy. I think that would be awesome. Uh, so yeah, but uh, if you guys haven't uh, gotten into these, I highly recommend it. Especially if you're a War Warhammer fan. Uh, these things are fucking amazing. So, uh, moving on to my number two. Okay, number two is the controversial Tarna. Um, I, uh, it's funny... Uh, um, when I posted up uh, a picture reviewing her, I was so excited for this figure um, that, like, a bunch of people were calling me out uh, and, like, getting all mad just because I like this figure. But um, I do really like this. I enjoy this figure a lot. Um, I just, again, kind of going back to Excess Ray Gladiators, I love it when, like, certain companies, even if they are experimental and even if they are, like, just a, a smaller size company, uh, I love it when they give us uh, these um, really kind of like sensual and and really kind of controversial and really kind of edgy um, toys that like are in the the Hasbro and Mattel style and in the Hasbro and Mattel 
uh, scale. Um, yeah, like a, like a bunch of like people just just came out of the woodwork to tell me how wrong I was, and and of course it was like, it's like well it's because of the price point, and it's like, well this is the premium that you're gonna pay. Hasbro and Mattel, they're never gonna make a Tarna figure. They they can't. They won't. It's too it's too uh it's too much of a risk for them. So uh so your next best thing is like these uh these companies that are making this stuff. So this is definitely uh my um my uh second pick. Um I'm sure a bunch of people are gonna be like, What do you have from her be behind? Because she's got a great ass. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Ironically, uh, her ass and the She-Hulk ass are, like, the same amounts of, like, of, like, thick. So, you know, I do kind of, kind of give Hasbro some credit for at least doing that. Um, and there's Avis, too. There's where I have him displayed. That's who she came with. And I'm pleased with the Avis figure, too. It's, like, the Avis figure, I mean, yeah, it doesn't have very much articulation, but it's, but it does what it's supposed to do. I don't need I don't need a huge amount of articulation in animals, so uh, moving on to number uh, to number uh, one. I forgot before we do number one, let's do our honorable mentions. All right, I just don't want to grab him uh, because of like where he is. But like my first honorable mention is uh, um, the uh, Chaos Space Marine from uh, uh, McFarlane. This thing is amazing. Uh, loads of detail. If you're really into like kind of the Doom aesthetic and like the uh, the skulls and stuff on armor and, and stuff like this, then this is, the, this is the figure for you. If you haven't already, I'm pretty sure it's probably discounted. Uh, go go on, uh, on Amazon or eBay and try to get it for yourself. I'm pretty sure you'll get a good deal on it. All right, number three is the uh, Stoneheart Predator. This thing is awesome. The uh, I actually got rid of my uh, concrete, uh, my not concrete, but my uh, um, my uh, hunter. No, it was it hunter? It was assassin. I got rid of my assassin uh, predator just because it just um, it just kept on falling over. But this thing uh, uh, holds its balance really well. And, um, uh, the, uh, batteries died on mine. Um, I don't think they work. They might work a little bit. Let's see if they work. Oh, they do. Yeah, so the LEDs, uh, light up. And they look pretty good. I don't think they're that bright right now because these things were kind of dead. But they work pretty damn well. And if that's not even that bright and the uh, camera's uh, capturing it for as well as it is, that's pretty damn good. But this thing is awesome. Uh, again, I highly recommend it. Moving on to my uh, second honorable mention. Second honorable mention is uh, Mondo Hordak. Um, this thing is pretty sweet. I'm glad I got it. Um, what kept it from being uh, in like the top 10, because Hordak is probably like my favorite um, Masters of the Universe character. I even have a tattoo of Hordak. But the reason why is just because, number one, it's because uh, the, um, the uh, um, six inch market has really stepped up. They're doing stuff in the six inch market that they did in the 12 inch market. So that's why um, he's not on the main list. And also because I think I think that uh, Mattel, which owns Hasbro, they kind of cheaped out a little bit with these guys. This is the base model and only comes with their like spare hands and, um, uh, and um, uh, a staff and a crossbow. I don't even think he comes with the imp. I think you have to pay extra for him to come with like the filmation imp. But uh, he doesn't even come with like the basic kind of red Hordak symbol, symbol looking imp. Um, so let's move on to our first honorable mention, or our last honorable mention, I should say. Trying to get her in a good frame shot. There's naked women in here. So, and I'm trying not to show them as much on YouTube. 
But uh, anyway, so like, uh, this is my uh, first honorable mention, which is this Vampire Slayer, which I used to kind of make a, uh, a, um, a, a um, custom Vampirella. Um, I replaced her head and, and stuff like that because I think I've seen versions of Vampirella where she sort of looks the stylized, sort of made her look like an under underworld character, so to speak. This one is a great figure too, and I do really like it. The only thing, the reason why I didn't put it on the, on the list is because of the same reason why I didn't put Hordak on the list, and that's just because 6 Gen Scale has really stepped up its game. So, but let's move on to number one. Or, actually, I have a uh, wild card. Actually, no. I've, I left an honorable mention out as well, but after that I got a uh, wild card. So let's get the la the very last honorable mention out, and then let's do uh, the wild card. Okay, and here's my very last honorable mention. I almost forgot about this guy because he wasn't originally on the list, but um, and I got him really recent. I got him uh, maybe about like three or two weeks ago, and um, it's uh, it's Crocmaster. Um, this guy is awesome. Uh, this guy, like, you know what I get vibes from with this guy is I get Kenner Jurassic Park vibes from this dude. The amount of accessories that they give you, and they give you a fully sculpted crocodile. I mean, look at this thing. It's got, it's got articulation for days, and it looks better than, like, those museum replicas that they sell in the gift shops. Like, come on, Hasbro. Like, it's like you can make a crocodile this good. Why couldn't you make dinosaurs this good from the first Jurassic Park film when you originally had it? Or why can't Mattel make good Jurassic Park dinosaurs? You know, like, this is better than the Mattel Jurassic Park dinosaurs if we're going to compare animals. But I also just get, like, really, really strong Kenner, uh, Kenner Jurassic Park vibes. Like, you, you could easily see this in like the lost world line or like the especially the uh the series the second series from uh um uh the jurassic park the first jurassic park toys when they had all these like weird kit uh killers like or i mean these weird like dinosaur poachers like like dr skinner or like you know uh dr snare or or whatever so um but i really really like this dude um Let's move on to my wild card. All right, chilling with the ladies here, but this is my wild card. It's not the Elvira um, figure, even though that is a good figure and I do really like it. It's uh, this uh, um, this uh, bear brick thing. Uh, I went to Las Vegas for my uh, birthday and I actually picked this up along with uh, some other figures. I bought the um, Ultimate Warrior Predator and then I bought um, the uh, surf, the the sewer surfer, uh, Super Seven Michelangelo, but um, uh, the of course the reason why this isn't on my list is because uh, even though this is technically a figure, it's not really what um, the action figure community or the toy community is really going to consider to be a figure. And then number one, just to kind of conform to like uh, what the lists are going to be, uh, there's no way that I could really put it on. But otherwise, it would actually make it on uh, the uh, top the top ten. But uh, I really love this thing. It's awesome. It's 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 also it also kind of functions as a lamp, which is really cool. So and it came with like a smaller version of itself as well. So, but let's move on to my number one. And here's my number one: is this dork in the castle? Just kidding. It's actually ba 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 boops. <laughs> it's uh it's uh this figure this hell witch figure um this thing is awesome like this is what i'm talking about where six inch figures are pushing the envelope and actually doing something that's like that like uh 12 inch figures are doing so this th i'm just gonna let it speak for itself um yeah, just great figure. This was my most anticipated figure of this year. I just love it when they do stuff like this. All right. All right, guys. So uh, um, I'll be interested in to see 
or I've been watching some other people's uh, top tens, and they're pretty interesting. So um, uh, I think this is all I'm gonna do for the year. I don't really do like best of Marvel Legends or best of uh, best of this and best of that. I don't category. I don't split it up into categories. Uh, I just don't have the time. But uh, I think I did pretty well on this video. And um, uh, go ahead and uh, watch. Um, you know. But as always, like, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, just keep collecting.